I know a person who has one joint, it lasts them about a year, you know. They'll have a couple of puffs and then it's put in the cupboard. Yeah, oh, you know, and they spend probably, I don't know, however many, probably about seven hours wasted off the couple more puffs. And then, you know, it's not until they have a birthday and they go, oh, well, that's right, we've got that joint in the cupboard and they'll have two more puffs. And then, you know, it's not on their mind constantly. They're not fucking obsessing about it. I lived with um, people after I got out of hospital. I lived with some people that would, um, that smoked weed and would offer it to me and I'd just instant yes. <laughs> And then I'd sit there, get paranoid, and go to my room. <laughs> and um, um, I even sometimes like I um, like I'd go to the city, and even though it's not real weed, I'd still go buy the synthetic stuff. They they talk about marijuana being the softer drug. That's what makes it so dangerous, because people have a disregard for it. You know, they think it's the 50k speed limit. You don't have to worry about it, you know. But it's that fact that it is so soft, supposedly. Um, and, you know, they, they have the scare for, for, for pee or for heroin or for anything. But it's dope will take you out just the same, mainly because you don't respect it. I stopped feeling stoned. I stopped getting that, that stone feeling. Um... I was smoking to be normal, to have feel normal. And if I didn't have any dope, I just didn't feel like I could operate. I, I, um, any little thing was a real big problem. Um, the, the radio would eat my tape cassettes, so I'd smash it to pieces, you know, that, that type of, just anything went wrong, it was the end of the world.